Hey everybody, welcome back to the B-Movie Bunker. Sprucing up the defenses for the old homestead here. Sharpen sticks, line them all around, they make a great defense. Speaking of that, I think it fits in well with our movie right now. We're talking about The Hunger Games. Um, for those of you who don't know what The Hunger Games is, one, get out from under your rock you've been living under. <laughs> um, but no. You basically have, it's the story, there's these 13 districts who rebelled against, against you know, the, the nation. And as punishment, uh, and to remind them constantly of, of the position they put themselves into by rebelling, they have to give up two children every year, uh, between the ages of 12 and 18. It's, it's one boy and one girl. And these people, these two kids, will go off and they will compete against their districts in what is called the Hunger Games, which is a fight to the death with one winner. So, I would say first... Read the books. Oh my gosh, they're they're fantastic. I, I I've read the first one. I'm partway through the second one. I'm gonna get finish it off quick. They're quick reads. I mean, they're kid. They're young adult books. A little darker than, than most young adult books because you have kids killing each other. And I know some people still can't get past the well. It's a young adult book. Whatever. Fucking just fucking read the book. It's a good story. It doesn't matter what age it's written for. If it's a good fucking story. Um, and then, and then some of you are like, well, I don't want to read. Reading's hard or reading's stupid. If you're one of those people and you know and, and you're not like four and you're saying reading's hard, get the fuck off my planet. Just find some way to get off my planet because people who don't read, and I'm talking about people who choose not to read, not people who actually don't have the ability to read, but people who don't read, who refuse to read because they're reading stupid, I got, I got no patience for you. So, but I'm not talking about the, the book and I'm not talking about reading in general, which is fundamental. Um, talking about the movie. Um, Oh, I enjoyed this movie a lot. I didn't have a lot of expectations going into it because I actually read the book after I saw the movie because I just, a lot of my plate as far as reading goes. But, casting, oh my gosh, she did a great job. Jennifer Lawrence as Katniss, the the, the protagonist, the, the, she is the, the girl of the story. I thought the casting was brilliant for her. I thought she did a great job as Katniss. I also like the fact that she's not some anorexic waif that Hollywood loves to throw in her face. She actually, actually looks like a girl. Which is great. I like girls that look like girls and not like a twelve-year-old boy. Um, other cat. I didn't even recognize Elizabeth Banks in this as as Effie Trinket. Um, Woody Harrelson as Hamish. Great job. And I know there were some people who were complaining, and to people who haven't seen it, or actually people who haven't read the books, this makes no sense. And to people who you know aren't fucking bigoted dickheads, it doesn't make any difference either. But there are people who complain because well, Rue, who's one of the other children from one of the other districts. I can't believe they made her black. That doesn't go with the little blonde hair, blue eyed little girl that I pictured in my head. Why would they go with black? And they made Thresh black. That makes no sense to me. Why are these people black? Okay, first of all, get the fuck over yourselves. Second of all, if you can read a book and understand what the words on the pages say, okay, she never actually uses the word black to describe Rue and Thresh. But she does say dark skin. And to me, dark skin generally translates into black. When we're talking about people, it, it doesn't mean insta-tan. doesn't mean someone who's, you know, like Snooky, who's more orange than dark. We're talking about black people. No problem with that. I don't understand what the big deal was. It didn't change the story at all. Even if they weren't meant to be black, it doesn't change the story in the least bit. Aside from that, oh my gosh, uh, just... I thought the story was well done. Obviously, they made some changes from the book, and this may spoil some things for people. And remember, the bunker is a spoiler zone. So, if you don't like spoilers, I'm sorry, they pop out. I've, I've warned you about this before. But, I mean, some of the changes, obviously, they changed Hamish a little bit. I can kind of understand why, I mean, a book, you have to cut some things to put it in a movie form. It just has to be done. And I can see them sacrificing a bit on Hamish's uh, story to fit the, the main story in. Um... There's the part with the Mockingjay pin, which which I didn't wasn't really. I mean, I didn't understand there were changes till after I read the first book, and now I can see the changes. But I'm more curious about what they're going to do with those changes than being upset because they changed it. I want to see where they're taking it. Um, overall scale of one to ten. Wow. All right. Imagine you're you're out in the rain and you're cold and you're shivering and you're starving and your family is starving and someone throws you this loaf of bread and it's burnt. Now, there are some people who go, well, fucking burnt bread, what the fuck is that? What kind of, so it's not good? Well, no. Imagine you're starving, you haven't eaten, and someone tosses you this bread, which isn't good enough to sell, and you look at it and you go, 
fuck, I can just scrape off that burnt bit, and I've got this this bread. And it's not just bread. You take it and you break it open, and it it smells great, and it's still warm inside. And this doesn't just satisfy your need for to feed yourself. It it, it does more than just sa satiate your hunger. This gives you hope, and it gives you. It's it's like it's actual life. It's it's fucking more than just food. This is amazing, and that's what this movie was. It was great. If you can get past that little burnt edge that some people can't seem to get past with the, but this is a kid's story. If you can get past that, because you have some level of intelligence, you will have a very enjoyable movie. So, until next time, stay safe out there. Remember, punji sticks. Dip the end in poo. Even if the person gets away if you're stepping on it, it's going to get infected. They're going to die a horrible, painful death. And that is what you want for your enemies, generally. So until next time, stay safe out there in the wasteland.